everyone, it's Madison, and it's that time of month again. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Madison, and if you're new to my channel, which I've recently got a few more subscribers, hello, my name's Madison, and I make fashion, beauty, uh, kind of videos. So if you like that, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because that'd be nice. already that this is my March favorites and I'm actually doing pretty well at continuing to do these favorites videos so if you like them please let me know it means a lot if you would comment and tell me because I know that you like them give it a thumbs up too so I always start out with the same thing so I'm just gonna continue doing that uh, so I'm gonna start with beauty items and then go on to fashion um, some hair things apps music and food so let's start out with the beauty items. So the first thing I'm talking about, if this hopefully will focus, is the Their Real Push-Up Liner by Benefit. And this is the mini size because I got like a little um, set, as you saw in my last video, if you watched it. It's in my spring haul. Um, and it came with the eyeliner and the uh, Their Real Mascara mini also. So this eyeliner is in my favorites because it is amazing if you sock at winged eyeliner like I did up until like a few days ago then you should probably try this out along with um, I have a drugstore recommendation also which is the Maybelline New York Master Precise eyeliner and this is in black so what I like to do is I take the push-up liner which is a gel formula but it's like in a pen form, I guess you could say. And I do my wing because it's very like precise. And then I fill it in with the Master Precise from Maybelline and it just works really well. I know my wings aren't really even today, but you know, I tried my best, okay? I'm still working on it, but if you like want to really get into it, but you're not doing it so well like I was, I definitely recommend trying either one of these out. I started with the Maybelline one and it works just fine so you don't really need the higher end one but together they work really well, separate they work really well so whatever you want to do but I totally recommend them. On the same line of eyeliner q-tips. I just have them in this little mini and Mickey case and, um, I don't know, that's just what I put them in and after I draw my eyeliner I noticed like it might be a little bit uneven, so I just, I don't know how sanitary this is, I lick it and then I kind of wipe away the excess um, to make a very even line because they want my wings to be able to fly me away to the wind. Because I want my wings to be even, as you do. So I recommend using Q-tips to even them out and make sure they're on fleek. Yes. So my next beauty item is kind of gross right now, but it's my beauty blender. And I say beauty blender because um, it's not an actual beauty blender, but it is just a sponge, which looks just like and works just like the beauty blender. Um, these are like five dollars, so it's much easier to use it for a, like a month or so and continuously washing it and stuff, and then just toss it and get a new one. I need to get a new one, as you can see, but. It works really well. I switched um, from using my makeup brushes back there and tried them. Um, and now I'm using this blender at this blender. <sighs> and now I'm using this sponge. And it works really well. I still, of course, use my brushes. And I love to use my brushes, but this is a nice alternative. Um, it gives you a different kind of finish, I feel like. This one's a little bit more full coverage because you have it absorb water. That way when you put your foundation on, it won't absorb the foundation. It will put more foundation on your face. So if you're looking for a more like full coverage look, I recommend this rather than a brush because the brush might absorb the product if you're picking up what I'm laying down. Then for my last beauty 
favorite. This is the Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette. I'm not sure what color this is in, but I've recently been really liking the highlighter in it. Hopefully you can kind of see that. I don't know, I never really used to use highlighter. I would just do bronzer and blush, but recently I've been really liking the highlighter to put on the focus points of my face. Is that the right word? So basically like here, along the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid spout. And if you didn't know, that little like lip thing, that's a cupid spout. So you're welcome. So now on to some fashion favorites. I've I always have it on my phone, so I'm not being ignorant, I swear, but I've been really liking my Old Navy necklace, which I have on today. You can't really see it because my sweatshirt's kind of like high up, but it's just a little dainty thing. It's just like um, a little black gem, I think, but it's like the perfect size. Because I hate when like necklaces are at like that awkwardly long size and you're just like, Ugh, I don't know, I just don't like it. But it, at the same time, it's not like a choker either. So I just got this from Old Navy. I think it was like free with a, it's like a free gift with purchase kind of thing. So it's nothing special, but I think it looks cute. So, so my next fashion favorites are my Alex Downey bracelets. Right now I've been wearing two consistently. I do have some other ones hanging up here. Let me know if you want me to do like an Alex Downey bracelet video where I just talk about my Alex, like which ones I have or whatever. But recently I have been wearing my gold swan, which looks like this. And then I've been wearing my birthstone, which is a ruby, and it's the gold one. I have the silver one too, but I really like wearing gold with gold. So that's what that one looks like. It's just like a red stone, but it's a ruby, technically. So I've been really liking these. It is so fun. Isn't it fun? Along with my, uh, what is this called? Low Kai bracelet and this little black one that I got on Amazon. It just has like church people on it. <laughs> I'm such a good Catholic person because Easter's coming up. So maybe, that, maybe that's why. I don't really know. But I just been really liking this one, which I got from Amazon. Um, I'm not really sure what you can look up if you want one like that, but. Yeah. So next fashion favorite is um, all black outfits, which I'm wearing one today. I'm wearing my ripped black jeans and then this black champion sweatshirt. And I don't know, I've just been feeling really comfortable in all black. I do have some color on my shoes, but um, other than that, I'm all black. And I think like the color contrast between my skin and my clothing is just nice and I feel edgy and I feel like I can take over the world. And my mom's like, why are you in all black? And I'm like, because I'm in all black, like because I'm more, I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. I don't even care. And if you can't handle all black outfits, just know that death is coming for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, relax. So now on to some hair favorites. I've been really liking this Batiste dry shampoo. But wait, it's for a dark and deep brown hair. Me! Because I don't know if you noticed, for all you people with dark hair that use the um, other brands of dry shampoo, or even Batiste, for example, in the original scent or whatever, it comes out like a white cast and I can't do that because then it looks like I have white hair like right here and it's really annoying but this one oh if I spray it's gonna go on the light but it comes out brown I don't know if you saw that but you can kind of see right here you can kind of see on the like spray part of it that out brown which is really nice which is really nice because then I don't have white hair and it still it like works really well and it smells better too. It smells like more fruity and like musky kind of. So I've been really liking this and it adds a lot of volume to your hair and stuff so that's great. Another one of my hair favorites has been this wide tooth comb. I'm not really sure where I got it. I just found it in my room one day and it works really nice to just you know brushing through and it's it's really nice when you have wet hair that way it doesn't rip out your hair so I just start at the ends of my hair and just kind of go up and make sure it's all smooth also um 
I've been kind of wearing the middle part a lot and I just, I don't know why, but I feel like a British model and I just really like that and it gives me confidence and I don't know, I just really like the middle part so I think I already told you guys that though but I, I don't know, I just had to put my favorites because I really like it and I think it looks cute in my opinion, that may not be your opinion but my opinion matters to me. <laughs> Now on to some apps that I've been loving this month, starting with my fave, which is SoundCloud. And in case you were wondering, my name on SoundCloud is Madison Murphy 2, I believe. I'll have the link right here somewhere. Um, feel free to follow me. I post some cool songs on there. Well, I don't post them. I re repost and like some cool music on there. And I might actually make a playlist if y'all want that. So let me know if you want that. Um, and that is actually the only app I've been loving this month. Um, it's just really good. Some music favorites. Um, let's see. I have a lot. I've been really liking Give Me a Try by The Wombats. Another song is Hypnotic by Zella Day. You've probably heard it on Vine if you have heard of it. And the other one is Xanag X Machine Heart, and it's called Circles. And yeah, if you want any other songs that I've been liking, go check out my sound code. I have like a very um, vast variety of music genres. I like everything, so. If you like music, you'll probably find something on there that you like too. And then for the last section of my favorites video, I will be talking about some food faves. The first one is Honey Nut Cheerios. I don't know why, but I just love these. They're so good. And I love that little dude. What's his name? What is your name? You're magically delicious. Oh, that's Lucky Charms. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me what his name is in the comments. And that is everything that I've been loving in the month of March. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I actually also wanted to know if you would like to see a vlog style video because I'm actually going on a trip to go see some family and I kind of wanted to film it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be good at vlogging, but I'm going for, I think, a week. Um, 4th till the 11th, so if you want a vlog style video of that all compiled into one video, please let me know in the comments. I think it would be fun, go on some adventures, check out a different place in the world that I've never been to, and hang out with some cool people. Shout out to you if you know who I'm talking about. Danielle, hello. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Okay, before my camera runs out of storage, I'm gonna go. Please leave me tons of comments of all the things that I talked about in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'm almost at like 100 I think which is really cool so help me get that. 100 subscribers would mean so much to me. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.